Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, heard everywhere, present, and fills all things. Treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy in us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy in us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of the ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy in us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of the ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. The Lord hear thee in the day of affliction. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. May he send thee help from the sanctuary and aid thee out of Zion. May he remember all thy sacrifice and fasten thy whole burnt offering. May he grant thee according to thy heart and fulfill all thy counsel. We shall rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of, the, of our God shall we be magnified. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now have I known that the Lord has saved his Christ. He will hear him from his holy heaven. The salvation of his right hand is wrought in mighty acts. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will call upon the name of the Lord. They are overthrown and fallen, but we are risen and set upright. O Lord, save the king and hear us in the day when we call upon thee. The king shall be glad in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation shall he greatly rejoice. Thou hast granted him his heart's desire and hast not denied him the request of his lips. For thou hast gone before him with the blessings of goodness. Thou hast set upon his head a crown of precious stone. He has life of thee, and thou gavest him length of days forever and ever. His glory is great in thy salvation. Glory and majesty shalt thou lay upon him. For thou shalt give him blessing forever and ever. Thou shalt make him glad with joy by thy countenance, for the king hopes in the Lord. And in the mercy of the Most High he shall not be shaken. Let thy hand be found on all thy enemies, let thy right hand find out all them that hate thee. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven at the time of thy presence. The Lord shall trouble them in his wrath, and fire shall devour them. Their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the sons of men. For they intended evils against thee, they devised counsels which they cannot establish. For thou shalt make them turn their back. In thy remnant thou shalt prepare their countenance. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy strength. We shall sing and praise thy mighty acts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy in us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy in us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Grant victories to the Orthodox Christians over their adversaries, and by virtue of thy cross, preserve thy habitation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as thou wast voluntarily crucified for our sake. Grant mercy to those who are called by the name of Christ God. Make all Orthodox Christians glad by thy power, granting them victories over their adversaries by bestowing on them the invincible trophy, thy weapon of peace. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O awesome protectress who cannot be put to shame, despise not our prayers. 
O good and all him Theotokos confirm the habitation of the Orthodox, save those called upon to govern us, and grant them the victory which is from heaven, for thou hast given birth to God and alone our blessed. See on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for his beatitude, our metropolitan, and for... Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, our commandite Sergius, and all his brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Can we pray for this country as president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces? Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Can we pray for our brethren and for all Christians? Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Thou art a merciful God, and love us mankind, and unto thee we send the glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and undivided Trinity, always now and ever and unto ages of ages. God in the highest one on earth, peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Many rise up against me, many say of my soul. There is no salvation for him and his God, but thou, O Lord, art my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all who without cause for my enemies. Thou hast broken the teeth of sinners, salvation belongs to the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, neither chasten me in thy wrath. For thine arrows are stuck fast to me, and thou hast pressed thy hand heavily upon me. For there is no health in my flesh in the face of thy wrath. There is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities have gone over my head, they have weighed upon me like a heavy burden. My wounds stay confessed in the face of my foolishness, I was wretched and bowed down until the end. I went mourning all the day long, for my loins are filled with mockeries, and there is no health in my flesh. <coughs> I am afflicted and gravely humbled, I have roared from the groaning of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before thee, and my groaning is not hidden from thee. My heart has troubled, my strength has failed me, and even the light of mine eyes is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew near and stood before me, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought my soul used violence, and they that sought evils for me spoke empty things, and devised deceits all the day long. But I was like a deaf man and heard not, and as a speechless man not opening his mouth. And I became as a man that hears not, and whose mouth has no reproofs. For in thee, O Lord, have I hoped that thou wilt hear, O Lord my God. For I said, let my enemies never rejoice over me, for when my feet were shaken, they spoke boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, my grief is continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. Let my enemies live and are stronger than I, and they that hate me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good have slandered me because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Attend unto my help, O Lord, of my salvation. Take me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me, attend unto my help, O Lord, in my salvation. O God, my God, I keep watch for thee at dawn, my soul has thirsted for thee, how often has my flesh longed for thee. In a barren and trackless and waterless land, so have I appeared before thee in the sanctuary to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee, will I live, I will lift up my hands in thy name. Let my soul be filled as with marrow and fat, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. If I remember thee upon my bed at dawn, I did meditate on thee. For thou hast been my helper, and in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul is cleaved to thee, thy right hand has upheld me. But they sought after my soul in vain, they shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. 
They shall be delivered to the edge of the sword. They shall be portions for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that swears by him shall be praised. For the mouth of them that speak unjust things is stopped. At dawn I did meditate on thee, for thou hast been my helper, and in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul is cleaved to thee, thy right hand has upheld me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, in mercy, Lord, in mercy, Lord, in mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear to my supplication. For my soul is filled with evils, and my life has drawn nigh into hell. I have been counted with them that go down to the pit. I am become as a man without help, free among the dead. Like the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more. And they are cast off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in dark places, and in the shadow of death. Thine anger lies hard upon me, and thou hast brought all thy waves upon me. Thou hast removed mine acquaintances far from me. They made me an abomination to themselves. I have been delivered up and have not gone forth. My eyes grew weak from poverty. I cried unto thee, O Lord, all the day long. I have stretched up my hands unto thee. Wilt thou work wonders for the dead, or shall physicians raise them up that they shall praise thee? Shall any one tell of thy mercy in the grave and of thy truth in destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in darkness and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why dost thou cast off my prayer and turnest thy face away from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, and after I was exalted I was humbled and distressed. Thy wrath passed over me, and thy terrors greatly troubled me. They encircled me like water all the day long, they surrounded me together. Thou hast put far from me, friend and neighbor, and mine acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear to my supplication. Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives, who forgives all thine iniquities, who heals all thy diseases, who redeems thy life from corruption, who crowns thee with mercy and compassion, who satisfies thy desire with good things, so that thy youth shall be renewed like the eagles. The Lord executes mercy and judgment for all them that are wrong. He made known his ways unto Moses, his will to the children of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. His wrath will not endure until the end, neither will he be angry forever. He has not dealt with us according to our iniquities, nor rewarded us according to our sins. As high as heaven is above the earth, so the Lord has strengthened his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our iniquities from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion upon them that fear him. For he knows our fastening, he has remembered that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field shall he flourish. For the wind passes over it, and it shall be no more. And no longer shall it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness to children's children, to them that keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in the heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty and strength that do his word, hearkening to the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplication in thy truth, hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, he has humbled my life to the earth. He has set me in dark places like those long dead, and my spirit was despondent within me, my heart within me was troubled. I remember days of old, I meditated on all thy deeds, on the works of thy hands did I meditate, I spread forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsts for thee like a waterless lamb. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit has failed. Turn not thy face from me, lest I become like them that go down to the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for I have hoped in thee. Make known to me, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I have lifted my soul up to thee. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, I have fled unto thee for refuge. <coughs> Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God, that good spiritual guide me, the land of uprightness. 
Thou shalt quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake and thy righteousness. Thou shalt bring my soul out of affliction. And in thy mercy thou wilt lay waste my enemies and wilt destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness and enter not in the judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness and enter not in the judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Beatitude, our metropolitan Tikon, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. The right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, our commandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. This country, its president, for all civil authorities and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For this holy habitation, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Weather for abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Glory to thee, O Lord. For unto thee are to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. early for thee, O God, for thy commandments are a light on the earth. Earn righteousness, he that dwell upon the earth. shall take hold of an untaught people.
forth alone, and let us love the bridegroom, O brethren. Let us love the bridegroom, O brethren. Let us keep our lamps aflame with virtue and true faith, so that we, like the wise virgins of the Lord, may be ready to enter with him into the marriage feast. For the bridegroom as God grants unto all an incorruptible crown. In the same tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In him be the priests and scribes, cunningly gathered a council against the O Savior, moving Judas to betrayal. He shamelessly went forth and spoke against me, saying to a transgressing people, What will you give me if I deliver him into your hands? From his condemnation save our souls, O Lord. In the eighth Lord, now and ever, and unto ages of ages, Amen. Judas loves money with his mind. The impious one moves against the master. He wills and plans the betrayal. Receiving darkness, he falls from the light. He agrees to the price and sells the priceless one. As payment for his deeds, the wretch gains hanging and a terrible death. From his lot deliver us, O Christ God, granting remission of sins to those who celebrate thy immaculate passion with Show me the tribute money, and they brought unto him a penny. And he said unto them, Whose is this image and superscription? They say unto him, Caesar's. Then said he unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things which are God's. Then they had, when they had heard these things, they marveled and left him and went their way. The same day came to him the Sadducees, which say there is no resurrection, and asked him, saying, Master Moses said, If a man die, having no children, his brother shall marry his wife, and raise up seed unto his brother. Now there were with us seven brethren, and the first, when he had married a wife, deceased, and having no issue, left his wife unto his brother. Likewise the second also, and the third unto the seventh. And last of all the woman died also, therefore in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seventh, for they all had her? Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. But as touching the resurrection of the dead, have ye not read that which was spoken unto you by God, saying, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at his doctrine. But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were, they were gathered together. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the greatest commandment in the law? 
Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, saying, What think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? They say unto him, The son of David. He saith unto them, How then doth David in spirit call him Lord, saying, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. If David then call him Lord, how is he his son? And no man was able to answer him a word, neither durst any man from that day forth ask him any more questions. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. But do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous, and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders. But they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. But all their works they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries, and enlarge the borders of their garments, and love the uppermost rooms at feasts, and the chief seats in the synagogues, and greetings in the markets, and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi. But be not ye called Rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye come to sea and land to make one proselyte. And when he is made, ye make him twofold more the son, the child of hell, than yourselves. Woe unto you, ye blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing, but whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Ye fools and blind, for whither is greater the gold or the temple that sanctifieth the gold? And whosoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing, but whosoever sweareth by the gift that is upon it, he is guilty. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gift or the altar that sanctifieth the gift? Whoso therefore shall swear by the altar, sweareth by it, and by all things thereon. And whoso shall swear by the temple, sweareth by it, and by him that dwelleth therein. And he that shall swear by heaven, sweareth by the throne of God, and by him that sitteth thereon. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the way to your matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Ye blind guides which strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Thou blind Pharisee, clean first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto withered sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. Even so ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because ye build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous, and say, If we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Wherefore, ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers, ye serpents, ye generation of vipers. How can ye escape the damnation of hell? Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes. And some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them ye shall scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city, that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed, from, shed upon the earth, from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zechariah, son of Berechiah, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. 
O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets, and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Thy great mercy and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity, my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done what is evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and in sins, and my mother bare me. For behold, thou wast of truth, the unknown and hidden things of thy wisdom hast thou made known unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be cleansed. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt cause me to hear joy and gladness. The bones of heaven humbled shall rejoice. Turn their face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create to me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me on away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and establish me with a governing spirit. I will teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall return to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I would have given it. Thou wilt not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then should thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then should they offer bullocks upon thine altar. O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassions. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our all pure Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and all audible apostles, of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, St. Tikhon of Zidansk, our heavenly patron, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all thy saints, we beseech thee, O most merciful Lord, hearken unto us sinners who make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Through the mercies and compassions and love for mankind, with thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. our God, and unto thee we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. thy days in thinking of unprofitable cares? Why art thou busy with the things that pass away? 
The last hour is at hand and we shall soon be parted from all that is here. While there is still time, return to soberness and cry, I have sinned against thee, O my Savior. Do not cut me down like the unfruitful fig tree. But, O Christ, in thy compassion, take pity on me as I call on thee in fear. May we not be left outside the bridal chamber of Christ. The three holy youths would not obey the decree of the tyrant. When cast into the furnace, they say, Bless the Lord, O works of God, Lord. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Let us cast aside slothfulness and go to meet Christ, the immortal bridegroom, with brightly shining lam lamps and with hymns crying, O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. May there be sufficient oil of fellowship in the vessels of our soul, and then we shall not lose our reward because we have gone to buy oil. And let us sing, O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Ye have all received equal grace from God. Cause your talent to increase, and with the help of Christ who gave it you, and sing, O all you works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Let us cast aside slothfulness and go to meet Christ, the immortal bridegroom, with brightly shining lamps and with hymns crying, O all you works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Lord. May there be sufficient oil of fellowship in the vessels of our soul, and then we shall not lose our reward because we have gone to buy oil. And let us sing, O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Ye have all received equal grace from God. Cause your talent to increase with the help of Christ who gave it you. And sing, O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. We praise, bless, and worship the Lord. Singing and exalting Him throughout all the ages. The three holy youths would not obey the decree of the tyrant. When cast into the furnace, they sang, Bless the Lord, O works of the Lord. Watch thou hast said to thy disciples, O loving Savior, for ye know not in what hour the Lord shall come to reward every man. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. At thy fearful second coming, O Master, number me with the sheep at thy right hand, overlooking the multitude of my sins. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Watch thou hast said to thy disciples, O loving Savior, for ye know not in what hour the Lord shall come to reward every man. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. At thy fearful second coming, O Master, number me with the sheep at thy right hand, overlooking the multitude of my sins. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Watch, thou hast said to thy disciples, O loving Savior, for ye know not in what hour the Lord shall come to reward every man. <coughs> now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. At thy fearful second coming, O Master, number me with the sheep at thy right hand, overlooking the multitude of my sins. In thy womb, thou hast contained God who cannot be contained. Thou hast conceived the joy of the world. We praise thee, O most holy Keep us all caught by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Memory being our 
most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Amen. His praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars and light. Praise him, ye heavens of heavens, and thou water above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he spoke, and they came to be. He commanded, and they were created. He established them forever, yea, forever and ever. He made a decree, and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons and all ye deeps. Fire and hail, snow and ice, stormy wind, performing his word mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and winged birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth, young men and maidens, old men with the younger. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His praise is above earth and heaven, and he shall exalt the horn of his people, a hymn for all his saints, for the children of Israel, a people that draws near to him, sing unto the Lord a new song. His praise is in the church of the saints. Let Israel be glad in him that made him, and let the sons of Zion rejoice in the king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord is well pleased with his people, and will exalt the meek with salvation. The saints shall boast in glory and shall rejoice upon their beds. The high praises of God shall be in the throat and to edge the swords in their hands to execute vengeance upon the nations and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment that is written. This glory shall be for all his saints 
Praise God and his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power, praise him for his mighty acts, praise him according to his abundant greatness, praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the psaltery and harp. <coughs> Will among men, we praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God, the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and thou, Holy Spirit, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For thou only art holy, thou only art Lord, O Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless thee and praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Lord, thou hast been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, be merciful to me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have fled unto thee, teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For with thee is a fountain of life, and in thy light shall we see the light. O continue thy mercy unto them that know thee. Lord, save, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is the name forever. Amen. Let the mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, Lord, teach me the statutes. Blessed art thou, Master, make me to understand the statutes. Blessed art thou, Holy One, enlighten me with the statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever, despising the works of the hands. To these do praise, to these do song, to these do glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. The angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our 
our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Christian ending to our life, famous, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all, and to thy Spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. Show mercy and to save us, O our God, and unto thee do we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Adorn me in the 
to the name of Most High, to proclaim the mercy in the morning and the truth by night. For the God, for the mighty, for the mortal, the mercy in us. For the God, for the mighty, for the mortal, the mercy in us. For the God, for the mighty, for the mortal, the mercy in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and in three ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, upon our transgressions, hold the one visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and in two ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Standing in the temple of the glory, we think that we are standing in heaven. O Theotokos, the gate of heaven, open to us the doors of the mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord more honorable than a cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than a seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. Through Theotokos we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. He who is Christ our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, strengthen the Orthodox Christians, confirm the faith, calm the nations, give peace to the world, preserve well this holy habitation. Grant repose in the mansions of the righteous to our fathers and brethren who have departed this life, and accept us in repentance and confession without good and the lover of mankind. O Lord and Master of my life, give me not a spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk. But give rather a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother, for blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. God cleanse me a sin. Lord and Master of my life, give me not a spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk, but give rather a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions, and not to judge my brother. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, most blessed Master, bless. The Lord, who is going to his voluntary passion for our salvation, Christ our true God, through the prayers of this most pure Mother, of the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles, of our fathers among the saints, the God of Zidane, our heavenly patron, the God of Moscow, founder of this holy habitation, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. Through the prayers of our most blessed Master, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. 